Hey YouTube, Everyday Man. Um, got another video for you today. Um, today we're going to finally do the shop tour. Um, garage tour, whatever you want to call it. Um, my Our home garage. Um, so we're going to do the tour. We're going to go back there and uh, go through all the stuff you know that we have back here. But I wanted to start out here in the garage bay. This is, um, we can, you know, park the car in here a lot of times, but if I'm working on a bigger project where I need the table saw, the shop smith, I'll pull, pull the car out and work it out here, work on it out here. Um, also out here we have the um, Coleman air compressor out here. Um, don't get a lot of use on that guy anymore because, um, as you can see, the walls in here are concrete. So, um, kind of annoying because the sound balances so much that... Uh, it gets really loud, so we don't use that too much, but uh, have it, great tool. As you can see over here, we got uh, garden tools and that kind of stuff up here. Um, weed whacker, all that kind of stuff up here, plus um, sledgehammers, all that kind of stuff up in here. Uh, all the way over here, over here we have some 2x4 uh, and other kind of wood here. Um, got a nice light here that we made. Bottom is a um, big caliper like a from a truck wire uh, metal pipe here with wire going up the pipe coming out here with a light and a socket which is really nice so that's that's a really great thing we made uh, it gives you nice good light especially if you're working under the hood of a car works really great for that so power washer uh, John Deere this is a table saw right here kind of piled with stuff right now just got back from a trip not too long ago so we got piled with stuff from the car, but uh, really old, fairly old, Craftsman, if I remember correctly, table saw, was my grandfather's, so um, that it still works great though. Here's Shopsmith, also was my grandfather's, if I remember correctly, uh, might have been, yes, this was my grandfather's, this was my great grandfather's, um, this was my grandfather's, and uh, this is a great tool, great multi-purpose tool for a home shop especially. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. We'll do a separate video on him because it can do so many different things. Down here we have the motor saw, hard freight motor saw. It's down there just because uh, it's a recent purchase, so we haven't quite figured out how we want to mount it or where we want to mount it yet. But it does work on my workmates that you'll see in a little bit. So that, that's a good way to do it. It's mobile that way as well. Over here, we have some tubing, metal tubing, metal rod, angle iron, all kinds of metal stuff in here, plus some wooden dowels and stuff like that. Here's some extra plywood that we got, some insulation that hasn't gotten put in yet, some scrap plywood, shop vac. Uh, Saw horses. It's a nice little cart. This is also really great for working on the Volkswagens because you can a sit on this and it's a good height, but it's also a nice mobile station that you can put all your um, parts and stuff on there. So there's that guy. Um, here's the toolboxes. We're finally back in the actual work space. We have five toolboxes. Count them five in here. Recently got five. We used to have that one. And this top and that bottom were the only two workboxes, two we had. This one was on top of the bottom of that. Um, so that was the only toolboxes we had. Recently we got, then we got this box. Fairly recently, about, uh, I don't know, April probably-ish, May, somewhere in there. Then about a week later we got this box because it was on clearance. Got a really good deal on this guy. Um... Had some damage, so it was on clearance at uh, Home Depot. Was on clearance for $225. Normally $329. It had some dents. A big dent right here. Dent right here. And it was missing this drawer down here. This was missing. So um, it was on clearance, $225. We talked to them, to them and said it was still had too much damage for that price. Said we'd take it off their hands for $50. Bucks. Manager told us... We can do 45, we can't do 50, so we decided to take it. $45 off of 225, so that's the story with that box. So, um, we got it home, we stuck it in the island here. This is the workbench, this is the toolbox island. Um, stuck it in here, filled it with all kinds of hardware, as you can see. 
And then we decided um, it has lights in the drawers. They don't really do a whole lot. You can see the lights right there. Um, they're just strips of LEDs, but uh, don't really do a lot. But you do have to plug them in to have those lights. So what we decided to do was we have a retractable, ho uh, retractable extension cord here mounted to the side so it uh, pulls out, goes over there, plugs in, and then we have power going to this outlet over here. Um, have mounted a box on the side with an outlet. Um, but then we decided we wanted outlets up here. We wanted to have power strip along the back or something like that. Um, debated getting one of, another one of these guys right here. But instead, what we did was we got some receptacles and mounted them right in here. So you can see those guys right there. Just a regular receptacle mounted in here. Got two on the back. And then we come around to the front. And we have four down the front. Here, 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 and here. They're just um, normal square receptacles like this guy. Not the round ones, they were gonna be too hard to uh, cut out the holes, so we just got these square ones, cut out the holes, drilled them in there, wired them up, done. So now we got it. receptacles on this guy. Um, great work service here. Uh, it's just the regular, what this came with the box. Um, it's just a smooth work surface to work on. Good height on this guy, I like the height. So uh, really easy to clean down, take a wet paper towel or even a Clorox wipe, wipe them down. That's the way with all my countertop except that guy. Um, also purchased a vise for this, mounted a vise on the corner here so if I'm out there I don't have to come all the way back here to work on the vise. This box here, this was one my father bought when he was in college. This top box. Bought that when he was in college. Oh, about 30 years ago, 40 years, 40 years ago-ish, somewhere in that range. This one's pretty much, the top has woodworking tools like chisels and stuff like that. The bottom is all stuff for the shopsmith. Um, so that's this box right here. Plus we have magnetic gloves, glove holder here with um, regular nitrate gloves, type gloves in here. Uh, two ladders behind here. Then we get to this box. This box is the Harbor Freight box. General Pro, U.S. General Pro box. Didn't come with pegboard on it. Didn't come with countertop. Countertop we bought at Habitat for Humanity. Real cheap, 10 bucks ish Got a countertop. Cut it to size. Now we have a countertop. Um, then we decided to add the pegboard. And how we did that was pretty fairly easy. Um, fairly straightforward. We took some U-channel, and it was the right size for our pegboard. So we slid the, we uh, cut the front off, cut part of the channel off in the front, mounted it on the corner with some uh, pop rivets, slid the pegboard in, put a top piece on, and then put some other U-channel down the back for support, extra support, and that's what we got right there. It does bow a little bit because of all the stuff that's on the top here. Um, but that's great to keep tape on, stuff like that. Also have these guys mounted up here. Clamp on lights. They're great for around the shop. I got one up there by the shopsmith and one over here by the uh, bandsaw. So anyway, uh, this box is full of more hardware. Screws, nails on the top, all that kind of stuff, hanging stuff, all kinds of other hardware um, in this box. Plus we have more of these guys in here for storing nuts and bolts and all kinds of stuff on the top here. So, good working surface, kind of cluttered right now, but uh, I'm still organizing. Like I said, these boxes, this one and this one have both been acquired, you know, within the last couple months. And this bottom box here was even closer because the bottom of that box and the top of this box were bought together as a set from a uh, yard sale kind of deal. So an estate sale if I remember correctly. It came with some tools in it but uh, most of the tools in this whole box top and bottom were all in here. In this box right here. This is the Homec or Homec or whatever however you want to say that. Came from, uh, I want to say it came from Costco, maybe? Um, not sure exactly. 
got all the sockets up here. Inches on this side, metric is on this side. Great way to organize your um, boxes if you don't have two separate drawers for all your sockets. My biggest problem was I didn't have anything deep enough to hold these guys, so all my sockets are on top here. Um, like I said, inch on this side, metric on this side. Plus some quarter inch stuff, but the quarter inch stuff is even inch over here, metric over here. Also got some Allen wrenches and all that kind of stuff up on top. A lot of stuff on the top. And then all the drawers are filled with tools. Um, I'll just give you a brief look at the um, labels on these guys. And uh, we'll go through a different video of a toolbox store, I think. All the tools in the toolboxes. So, um, that's that black toolbox. Then we come to this box right here. Like I said, all these tools were in here, but now they're we separated them out. So now we have two boxes, better organized, uh, more sensibly organized. Again, we'll just give you a little tour of the labels. And we'll see more tools in my video that I'm going to make, apparently, of toolbox tour. <laughs> Um, on the back here, we have a paper towel rack holder thing, magnetic. Um, there's that. The stair, squ stair square, say that five times fast. Um, these guys are like paper towels, but they're non-woven cloth like paper towels that don't lint. So they're really great for um, doing glass, stuff like that. Uh, workmate, this is the workmate I was talking about. Black & Decker Workmate, that's what I use to mount the uh, miter saw on if I need it. Uh, Craftsman Wire Welder, Auto Feed Wire Welder. Um, really great tool down there. Here we have the uh, one workbench. This has a, um, the top is actually high density press board with some black um, veneer kind of stuff on the top was um treadmill deck underneath your uh track on your treadmill you have this stuff um, my dad used to work for a company that made treadmills and these were leftovers when they went out of business so got them and now we have uh good countertop to work on it's very similar to a countertop again very smooth paper, wet paper towel wipe it down and you're good to go so that's that guy over here we have drawers Two high, three wide. Um, these, again, another company that was tossing them out. They decided they didn't need them anymore, so we took them. Um, so, a uh, good way, another tip here, nice little tip here is to keep your paper, your uh, sandpaper organized if you don't have wall space, which I don't. Um, get a file folder. Have a bunch of file folders in a, you know, hang them in a file cabinet like this and now you have all of your sandpaper organized by grit in different file folders this um, one right here is all uh, used stuff so you know small scraps and stuff like that all in its own file folder but a really great way to sort sandpaper so a little tip there that I found got some uh, metal shelving right now I don't have space for it but it's like regular shelving you see in a store um, great stuff to have but like I said right now I don't have space for it plus some more treadmill deck to make some more um, workbenches if I ever decide I want more another workbench here this one actually came with the house that I'm um, renting right now so uh, that's this box right here this uh, workbench right here this has uh, just press board on the top not a huge fan of the top of this because it just gets so dirty it's so hard to keep clean um, Let's see, down here we have the welding helmet down there. Uh, auto directing welding helmet, angle grinder. Both of these are Makita's. Makita planner right there. That's the uh, st uh, pneumatic stapler and uh, pneumatic stapler and uh, nailer. Disc sander. This guy, the, those two are my um, brake caliper tools. Finishing sander there, two drills, one Mikita, one Craftsman. 
wire drills. Yes, I still have wire drills. Um, a heat gun, soldering iron, two um, circular saws, black knicker, and skill saw, craftsman um, router, craftsman big sander grinder buffer guy back here, plus two um, jigsaws, one craftsman, one black and decker. So that's that. All my cordless stuff's up here. Um, all craftsman cordless C3 stuff. Um, got some two reciprocating saws, two drills, two fluorescent lights, one regular light, and a uh, circular saw. Plus my, uh, I have an electrical Chainsaw as well. Uh, here's the power strip right here. Great Dremel there. DC power supply, really, another really great tool to have for working on cars. If you're doing any work with car electronics, you can bring it here, plug it in, you got DC power. Really great to have project there. Uh, Vice came with the uh, house. So Shop King Vice with uh, pipe jaws as well as regular jaws. Um, battery chargers back there. Bench grinder, six inch bench grinder, three quarter warts. No brand name on this, mm -hmm. just something I bought pretty cheap. But it's got good power, good grinding stones. I haven't actually changed the grinding stones since I bought it and probably bought it. Uh, whew, when did I buy this? At least 10 years ago, probably, was when this was bought. So it's been a good thing to have. The stand was recently bought, Harbor Freight cast metal stand. Got the big vise. This is a big six inch vise. Again, my dad bought really cheap off the back of a truck. I was asking him about it the other day and he said, yeah, I think I bought that off the back of a truck for about uh, 20 bucks. <laughs> um, so back in the 80s. <laughs> so um, good purchase there. Got another one of these drawers here. This is all personal protection stuff. Um, some welding gloves, some sleeves, an apron. Uh, this is all glasses, masks, and uh, goggles back there. Gloves and other PPE stuff back there. Uh, face shield for grinding and stuff. Some water. This is just water. Um, do like to keep water in here when I'm grinding. Big pan here, big pan here. This is another grinder. This one, the stand was bought with the grinder on it. The grinder was a Sears grinder. So uh, that guy, you had to, you flip the switch and then you had to go like this and then it finally started spinning. So finally ditched that, got this uh, Harvard Freight one, uh, six inch grinder. This one's only half horse. So a little less, little less powered than this guy, but it's not too bad. I like the gooseneck light. You know, so you can see what you're grinding on easily. Like that feature a lot. Added this uh, pan to have water right there. So I really like that on there. So that's those two guys. Got the uh, bandsaw here. Grizzly bandsaw. Metal cutting, but it'll also cut wood. Um, exactly the same as the Harbor Freight one we found. Because uh, when we last moved, the movers broke... One of these guys, if I remember, no, broke something on here. I can't remember right now what it was broken, but something broke on this guy, so it wasn't working, and we finally got it uh, welded back together for us, because um, it is cast metal, so uh, cast, I don't have, I'm not able, or I'm not very good at cast, welding cast or anything like that. Um, got a different base on this, because the base on these are crap, so wood base. Pretty much all pressure treated wood because I figured if I'm using you know cutting oil or anything like that, I'd like to have the pressure treated countertop on top and on the wings that fold out. These fold out and you have uh, you know more working space here, which is really great. Trash can, recycling bin. Um, so I think that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so that's the shop. It's what, what I work in. Uh, so anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, all that stuff. So, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And y'all be safe out there. Have a good day.